Whisk Girls unboxing take one. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Annie, and today I have an unboxing to do from Whisk Rails. Just by the box, I'm sure you can tell that this is an obstacle company. David from Whisk was really, really nice and decided to send me something free. This is a UK based rail company and they've been really, really active on Instagram recently. They've actually recently sponsored like a bunch of people too, including EJ or Fingerboard Queen. But yeah, I actually got this box maybe like two weeks ago. I just haven't had time to open it. And also I've had like videos lined up, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Hello everyone, you know who it is. It is Editing Annie here, which means Filming Annie missed out some information that she was supposed to talk about. So Whisk is a company made up of two people, David and Stu. They started making full-size grind rails in 1999 and stayed in the skate market on and off for 20 years making rails and t-shirts. The company name comes from their old nicknames Wheezy and Skint and they just figured the combination to make Whisk sounded great. They're based in Dorset and their mission is to support and help grow the UK scene with impacting ideas and hard wearing products. Okay, now back to the unboxing. I'm just gonna set this on my lap because the frame isn't big enough. There's one obstacle here, another little obstacle, and one more. Wow, I wasn't expecting more than one. I have no idea what this is. Oh, okay, I know what this is. They really packaged everything super well, so that's something that you're guaranteed for sure. So the first item we have is a pole jam. This is really, really sick. So something I feel like a lot of companies do, like obstacle companies, is they just give you the non-sliders, but instead what Whisk have done here is they've put the non-sliders on for you. There's a Whisk Rail sticker on there. I originally thought this was printed on, but I like that it's a sticker. The base is like huge, and as you can see, this is really, really thick. So the diameter is around 29 millimeters. I know that doesn't seem super thick for people who like sort of thicker rails, but this is like the thickest rail or pole jam I've ever had. And there are some holes in the front in case you want to screw this down, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and open this one. Okay, so this is pretty much just like a regular rail. As you guys know, I have the side salad from Fingerboard Workshop. So this is obviously thicker. It definitely does not move around at all. There are non-sliders at the bottom, super, super sturdy. And then there's just like another whisk sticker here, which is sick. And then finally, last thing we have here. Nice. Okay, so this one is another pipe rail type of thing same same material as the pole jam as you can see and the whisk sticker there much lower in comparison to this one and i think it's actually lower than the side salad too hang on so this is the side salad the lowest option on the side salad and it's definitely lower you can see there it's lower i don't know why i thought this was thicker and i'm really glad it's not thicker so when whisk actually reached out to me or david reached out to me i was really worried i wouldn't like the product because of how thick the rails are and i obviously have never ridden a thicker rail so i wouldn't know but i was worried i wouldn't like them and i'm totally wrong i think they're really really sick I think my rail collection is complete now, basically. I have these rails and I have the side salad and I don't need anything else apart from maybe like a square rail. Honestly, I think these products look really, really nice. This is the first official like rail company I've heard of in the UK. I've definitely never heard of any rail or obstacle companies in the UK, but if you know of any, please definitely let me know in the comments. I really like how they've sort of defined their own individual visual aesthetic with the white and the black and the blue, which obviously they couldn't do with the rails, but maybe one day they could like paint them or something like that. Definitely should have mentioned that the white rails are not the same material as a regular metal rail. And then I also forgot to mention for these two rails that there are like holes for you to put screws in if you want to screw them down onto any other obstacle. But yeah, these look really, really sick. Okay. 
Okay, so I have seshed all three of these for about an hour now, and I can safely say these are some really, really nice rails. As someone who's never ridden thicker rails, I'm actually really, really excited about these. What's really, really nice about the thickness of all of these is that they allow for you to sort of hit the rail a lot easier. So if you're maybe like already in a grind and then you're trying to like flip or whatever back into another grind, it's so easy or a no slide whatever it's so easy to like do that or it's easier at least if you're in the uk or in europe in general i definitely recommend you check them out this reel is kind of heavy but surprisingly this is not as heavy as you would think this is a lot lighter actually i'm guessing the inside of this is hollow does it sound hollow to you their Instagram handle is Whisk Rails, so go give them a follow. Thank you so much to David and Stu for all three of these rails. And yeah, I'm really, really impressed, like I said, because this is a really new company and they're already killing it. So I'll be posting more photos of these onto my Instagram, so be sure to check that out at anynfb.mov. If you like these unboxings and you want to see more, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I thank you all so, so much for your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.